Lake County's economy, Lost Nation Airport wants to continue growing. Yes, they already have more jets landing there, more planes housed there, and a plan to expand. But we learn one of the new plans is not sitting well with the airport's longtime neighbors. Our Tara Molina hearing their concerns and getting an update on the project tonight only on 5. They're happy to see this airport grow and continue to flourish, but some of the folks I talked to are on the fence about changes to the fence. Plans call for the fence around the airport to change all around the border, raising it in some areas and potentially adding about three feet of barbed wire. A lot of birds and beautiful butterflies and wildlife. Yeah, it's beautiful. Jim Wozniak has lived here for 17 years. Oh, I love it here. Pam Decca, 25. They told me Lost Nation Airport has always provided a rather serene backdrop for their mentor neighborhood. And they want to keep it that way. We enjoy the airport, but we would not enjoy a, um, a silver fence that's 10 feet high with three feet of barbed wire on top. They put barbed wire on the top, it's like you'd be out of prison. Plans call for a brand new fence around the entire border for safety. The fence is actually a wildlife fence. Because deer are making this growing airport dangerous. So our first goal is to get that 10 foot fence all the way around to eliminate the deer population. Yes, they're hopping this. I had a jet pilot tell me a story just recently that he was on the runway and he normally takes off at about 80 knots. And at 80 knots, he had to make a life or death decision. A deer ran out into the runway. Do I pull the plane up quickly? or do I hit the deer and possibly kill my passengers? So the fence makes sense, but I took residents' concerns to airport manager Patty Fulop, who was happy to tell me they're already addressing them. So what we have talked to them about, and we'll get the approval from FAA, we will eliminate the barbed wire. We are gonna color it, um, darken it, so that it will blend in, camouflage it a little bit more. Um, and I, I think that will be very pleasing. And planning to move forward with their growth with their neighbors in mind. We want to make sure this is benefiting everybody, the community, the businesses, and the residents. City of Mentor just approved a new 10-foot chain link black coated fence with no barbed wire. We'll follow up and see what the FAA says about that plan. I also put more about the future plans for Lost Nation Airport up on our website and our News 5 app. Reporting at Lost Nation Airport tonight, I'm Tara Molina, News 5.